Hey, Scott, what are you doing? Nothing. Scott, what are you doing? Scott! So, what, what so hey, Scott, what how's we, it going? What are we doing here today? This video here has been highly requested by everyone that watches. Um, you and a thong? Nah, not that one. That one's my OnlyFans. That's the OnlyFans. Check Thanks the OnlyFans for, for that. Yeah, me and Kane Hodder. We do a mashup. That's right. Oh, Jason. It's pretty cool. That was fun. <laughs> so what's this one about? So this one's about um, what kind of pens to use at conventions. Um, you know, people seem to like what? notice that you have a, a, lots of pens. I don't have any pens. Yeah, but what you, you you've got a case. Um, you you know you you're very thorough. You're very meticulous. You, you wait, like wait, specific wait, no, no, colors. No, let's correct this. I'm not the only one with a case, am I? Well, no, that's true. Well, well someone else has. has I had to follow. I had to follow this. suit because I didn't want to be left out in the dark. So <laughs> I wanted to get my own case. I got own case. You know, um, just Google pen cases online. You got yours at Blix Art Store. So when you when you go, it's it's very important to have some organization because of course they're busy and they want to move things along. Yes. They got a long line, and you've got a long line behind you. And everybody's staring at you going, okay, come on, come on, move it along, move it along. I need to get my stuff yeah. signed. Most of the time, the guests all have their pens all there too. So if you don't have a pen, you know, don't worry. They'll have a lot of pens. But the only problem is like the Sharpies, right? So, the, yes, we, we want to begin with the fact of this is a video about paint pens. And, believe it or not, Sharpies. Yes. Yes, I said Sharpie. Yes. And there's a reason why. And you'll find out as the video comes. That's right. But he starts off with a case, and here's why. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> ba bam. First oh, off, organization. You gotta love the look on the people when you walk up to them. <laughs> I don't know how many times we've gotten up for a signing, and we open this up, they go, wow. and they look and go, "Whoa, you, oh, you're professionals." Oh, you do? No, we're not. We just want to make sure we've got an opportunity for you to maybe choose a color or whatnot. Uh, there's been a few people like... Uh, Peter Jason. Yeah. For example. You who like he just freaked out. Uh, there was another gentleman that won't mention too many names. He also has a case. He, uh, he has a bunch of them now. That's an interesting point. Mm -hmm. We started off with Dark Delicacies, started bringing paint pens, and then it expanded to cases. And the next thing I know, Harry sends me a picture of a gentleman who came to one of the signing events from Germany who yes. had... Put not both to shame. But the biggest paint case I've ever seen. It was a taco. Every color. It was a taco box. Yeah. For like fish, like for like, you know. It was crazy. Fishing. Yeah. You open it up, open it up and have pens. So we got a separate game up. It's your it's choice. Sense. You want to go that direction. Right. These we found. Easiest. Because fold, fold, boom. Put you put your case. bag. You can carry it around. So when you leave it on a table and Fonzo goes, hey, you forgot your pens. You can just hand it exactly. to you. Because you, know. you don't want to have these pens in your pocket and have them break. Yes. Or spill. Yes. Because you have a mess. And that can be a big challenge. Yes. So, keeping in fact, you do even need a case. Heck no. You, yeah, exactly. you can just go. There are Get many a little bag, have a couple, three, four colors that you need, you know, depending on what items you're bringing. Mm -hmm. you One know? thing that has been helpful because of the way lines move along, or if you go to an impromptu signing, like at a QA and a okay. at a theater or whatnot, mm -hmm. I have a shirt that has a pocket. Mm -hmm. So right in that pocket, I'll take and I'll you put want. a couple of pens upside down. Just be yes. there. So right off the bat, instead of digging in my pocket, pulling this big old thing out or whatnot, and you can put it you know, in your pocket, but that's just what I've done. Right. It was just something that was learned over time to have easy, quick access. Boom. You flip it out. Boom. They're more than, well, not always. Right. But some are more willing than others that if you're ready to go yeah. and it's not going to take the less time amount exactly. just to sign something. You're not going through your quick. pocket looking for them. You're taking your keys out, your wallet, your phone. Mm -hmm. and you're looking for it. And you're like, it's already there. Boom. Ready to go. So tip number one, be prepared. Whether it be with a pen case, whether it be in you gather them together and he'll hold them in your pocket, just have some type of element that you've already identified the item you want signed mm -hmm. and the potential color to go with it. Yeah, we'll go over that too. Yes. Yeah. When you have more relaxed 
situations. Oh, yeah, then it's yeah, so much I.e. Easier. dark delicacies. Yes. It's wonderful about that. They provide this great table mm -hmm. where the signers are sitting. Mm -hmm. You can walk up to them. You've seen our madness. You've seen our, oh, how yeah. we work. You know? And they go, what color would you like? Yes. Would you like? And they get into it. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Nice it's like a little icebreaker, too, when you're meeting the guest, too. 100%. You know? Yeah. They look at you and they go, oh, cool. Ooh. Have you been how are you signing this? Like Peter this? Jason got super excited. He's like, oh, there's monochromatic. You know, he's like, right. excited. <laughs> you're doing that because of the matching of the font of the Prince of Darkness. That yeah. was this. So, yeah, I've it had, totally worked. I've had some of the signings go, ooh, 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 I want to use the purple. Exactly. Ooh, ooh, I want to use the gold. Yes. Da, 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 da. They, they, in some respects, enjoy the process. Mm -hmm. So, step number one have some type of organization, and have variations of colors. Right. You know, we stick to a lot of the basics or the primary colors with the blacks, the blues, mm -hmm. the reds. And the silver. Don't forget silver. And silver definitely silver, silver and gold. You'll see those in a lot of uh, guest um, table. You'll see those colors. And you'll start seeing them branch out. To, you'll see some, some decals and Posca, which brings up to our first question. Brandon Seals had asked, which paint pens are best to use? So uh, a paint pen is the best to use, <laughs> period. End of story. But there's so many though. Look, there's That's so many the different fun part. Right? So we you have different art supply places. Right. Michael's great supply place, mm -hmm. limited though on the types of pens. They tend to focus on a little bit more of the deco colors and definitely Sharpies. Yes. Up in Los Angeles, there's an art supply place called Blix Art Supplies. Mm -hmm. They have the most, uh, I mean, just incredulous paint pen collection mm -hmm. in all the different brands. So you've seen different videos on YouTube. You've seen our videos and such. After trial and error of, what, eight years now? Yeah, it's been a while now. The ones that have seemed to stand the test of time yes. and being able to be reused over and over again, I had some of these pens during covid they had sat there. Mm -hmm. Nothing was going on in 2020. Mm -hmm. Nothing hardly in 2021 as things started to open back up again. Pan. We're not getting any type of promotion for this. We're not getting any backing. This is just our opinion after so many years of doing this. Mm -hmm. And people asking us to make this video, so we want to help out like we do in every video. So what name would you say? Deco Color. These have lasted for quite a long time. Are Even they expensive? That's the thing. Because you're investing and it's paint, the average price points go in there between three and six dollars, depending on the type. But there are some you push the envelope on, mm. like a liquid chrome. Oh, now that's nice. Nice pen. Twelve bucks. Yes. You've really got to be invested into Yeah, you gotta be careful with that one. But if you think about it, if you're right. spending all this money right. to you meet know, the guests, get your item signed. You want it to last, right? You want it to pop. You want it to show. Mm -hmm. So we've seen, and in certain uh, events, people bringing Sharpies. Right. So we've asked, a number of questions have been asked over time. Yeah. What about Sharpies? Well, Sharpie itself is ink. So if you look at ink, seeing some of the items that people have had signed in the past, mm -hmm. ink, like anything else, has a potentiality to fade. Yeah. Even it's, if it says permanent marker. Right, especially on the plastic part, like on the Funko mm -hmm. or action figures. That's what we notice it the most, right? We've seen it on certain items over time. We've seen other people's collections. You've also seen, you know, when you go to events, look at what people are having signed. Mm -hmm. There are some times where it's real hazy or it's real thin because the, you know. Or that pen's been sitting at their table all convention long. So yeah. they're just grabbing and using that same one over and over again. And by the time they get to yours, they just go whatever. And you're like, oh, no, look at it. It's like it skips, mm -hmm. right? The ink's, you can barely see the ink. And they didn't grab another Sharpie, to, even though they're, they're all lined up there. So that's why you like being prepared mm -hmm. and having yours ready and hand it to them and go, look, this is what I want. This is the color I'm using here. I already know it's prepped. It's mm -hmm. ready to go. That's the color I want, you know. And he makes a very good point, and it harkens back to just a few moments ago about, yes, bringing the paint pens, having them organized, but then the signers have stuff at their tables. However, right. signing, 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 who knows how good a condition that they are, if there's any ink left in them, if there's any paint left in them, right. how good the quality is going to be. Mm -hmm. So in a pinch, you could rely on them and their paint pens or their pens or whatever at their table. But again, tip number one, it's a good point to be organized and have your paint pens in order ready to go. Tip number two is the fact of finding the right brand. Deco color, 
it, I, I hate right. to say, yeah. everyone's going to have an opinion out there. Right. Everyone uses the, the pens different ways. So my next question was going to say Posca, I would, Deco, I would agree with or you. Or Sharpies. That's, that's, that's. Because I do have some Sharpie pens here as well. See? And this is oil based. See, okay, so we'll get into that. But this is a good point. You also, there's also another company that Blick sells, or you can get them online, called Maltau. Okay, these are supposedly the Cadillacs yes. of the paint pens. This is just based on experience. We're not discriminating against anything yeah. whatsoever. Fill However, up, the ball markers of all colors. Like I said, over COVID time, yeah. I picked this thing back up, right. ran to a convention, started queuing it up. Deco color, without fail, kicked nice. right in. Majority of them. Okay. It's not always perfect. Okay. Pascas, I, I, you know, I've prepped them. I've had them work. I've had them work well. Yes. And then I've had some of them that have skipped a little bit, or mm -hmm. some of them. Let's show them example one, like like my white one. The white one, for whatever reason, always has that what that milky white, right? Because white pops a lot on black color, like black posters, the black background. White's always solid, even on that type of paper, like that um, uh, uh, not your clay, but um, that other rough, like the Emerson kind of. Oh, like, the printer paper. paper. Yeah, that's thick, a real poster thick paper. But for whatever reason, if it's not ready and prepped, it comes out really clear. Yeah. watery mm -hmm. it just doesn't come out as strong so you have to really really prep it so on a deco color whites they've usually been pretty good these have been the solid whites so yes that's a very good point yeah, those colors number one posca would be then like you said in order number two sharpie is i, I put it after a maltow sure so coming down that line but you test them out you try them mm -hmm. you see what works best for you right but the deco colors are more readily available and costs are a little more cost effective. So put it that way. Right. So that's a great question to answer. Junior, you asked about paint pens, what to use on items and what not to use on items. Because, yeah, and the Sharpie ones uh, only. Mm -hmm. uh, because oil-based with a clear coat in it, I would have to try others. That's a very good point. Mm -hmm. Why oil Yes, based. So I got pens. oil based because you told me the water ones don't last as long. So when you're doing testing and stuff, and Fonzo was talking about the whiteness and the milkiness of it. Yeah, see? So you have oil based, mm -hmm. which is a, a much thicker, darker spot. But yes, when you've used the whites and they haven't been prepped for or been sitting for a little while, the pigments kind of separate I'll out. I'll try right now, for example, if I do this one here in the black, you see? It has like that milky, like it's not, see how watery it looks? And when you get them in a moment, it starts to dry. Yeah, that's the other problem, right? We'll get into that. So having quality pens, but having oil-based. Water on some items, not all items, yeah. but some of them we've tested over time in the past and water-based, you can remove it. Yes. So if you have something that is screwed up, okay, that's helpful. Yes. You can wipe it off and start from scratch that's or true. you can be able to clean it up. Oil, it's just like regular paint, just of a point that when it adheres and it dries and it sticks, mm -hmm. longevity of it. it. That's the goal here. You're investing your time, money, energy with the right paint pens and going to these events and spending all this money on these things. Yes, having an oil-based versus a water-based difference. Absolutely. Try it out, though. Absolutely. I mean, you know, it's up to you. Yeah. Like, you always have, like, your, card, your business card that you like to prep before it, too. Funny that he mentions that because people are like, what the heck are you doing? Yeah. But again, you see as time is going, it's, you, you know, the white is, mm -hmm. that's the most finicky color out of all of them. Yes. Is the yes. white. Yes. I have a white Posca. He has yes. a white Sharpie. That's the one that. It, For whatever it, reason, yeah. But it pops. It do, when it when, when it's, it's great, on stuff. Oh, when it's on point, it's nice. Absolutely. It's awesome. Because that's the other thing. You have this limited edition poster, right? Mm -hmm. Of uh, 150, right? Whatever, at 200, right? Or, you, you know, you have like this like, limited edition vinyl, limited edition Funko, right? Exclusive. This is your one time to get it signed, you know? So, you're, you know, you're super nervous. You don't want to mess it up, right? You don't want mm -hmm. it to get messed up. You know, here's like, okay, please make sure this marker works, you know, because a lot of times people get the Sharpie go done at, over the over with, right? Yeah. Because, you know, it does dry fast. And that's the interesting point, that you have the pens and prepping them is essential. 
You'll we've see us in line, shaking yeah. and shaking and getting ready beforehand. That's why. <laughs> we've identified, I mean, things I've seen other videos or other recommendations back in the day, mm -hmm. uh, and still some to this day, it's been also tested and whatnot. You have the paint here, okay? There's a ball inside of it. And yes, we are shaking, 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 mm -hmm. prepping. Tip number four, definitely prepping mm -hmm. and getting the pens ready to go. And when, usually when I'm storing them, I store them like this, level, yeah. basically horizontal. Well, why not vertical? Okay, go ahead, do vertical. But the paint is here, and mm -hmm. while you're moving them around, that ball is moving around. When you're vertical, it's just like shaking down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I've seen others recommend the fact, with it stirring the paint, yes. keeping the paint pens like he has them, like that, mm -hmm. you know, storing and putting the case just like that in between events. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. Or, you know, you can store them upright in your bag. They're still vertical. Yeah. They're still shaking around. Good point. But yes, tip number four, definitely prepping and preparing your pens. The worst thing you want to do mm -hmm. is all of a sudden forget, and then you show up, and then, oh, it's uh, not even prepped. It's just blank. Oh, now you're no. sitting there. You waited an hour in line. You finally go up there like, oh, my God, I totally forgot to prep it. Uh, uh, you know, again, the guests will have pens. You know, you'll be, you'll be fine. But if there's that one specific color you want on that item, make sure it's prepped. Because this pen had been sitting and sitting. Yeah. What's missing? Oh, there it is. Perfect example. There's no, mm -hmm. the, the pen, the paint itself yeah. either got some air in the tip or whatnot, but it's it's frozen now. So this is a, a sadly, so a it's waste of down. money and it, a useless pen. It's done, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it could take that out. Oh, see. Don't do this. Don't, don't, don't do that. No, I don't care how thirsty you are. Oh, the one line. video, that was a crazy <laughs> video. I know. Ah. So yeah, so this is how it is. I mean, yeah, this see. is this is your tip. No it's, it's just like a paintbrush. It's a mini, mini little paintbrush, a little brush. But when you engage it and you press it down, that's what releases the, uh, the paint, mm -hmm. is that little tip down there on the bottom. And that's what flows into the pen. So, yes, uh, that's a good point. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna get a little more in depth on what to use on what types of items. Right. So, Junior, that's a great question. But also, the store, the, the pen case we had already answered. So, shout out to Nocturnal and Cosmic Mergers for asking, you know, how do we store it? Mm -hmm. Case works great, you know, a little bag as well if you don't want to carry so many pens. Um, so, you know, there's different options. But, you know, like you said, just carry them so preps and they're ready to go. So, yeah. that's the key. So, that's important. They have little cases. You could just put a couple in your pocket, however you want to do that. But mm -hmm. having the right pens, having the right setup. And then prepping them. Yes. Like you were saying about the business card. Why do I take out my business card? It's a certain material you have on there. When I had the business cards made, there is a basically a matte surface, which is flat, mm -hmm. like some of this matte surface that's on this vinyl, uh, this, K, um, this jacket for records. Mm -hmm. But then you have other stuff that's glossy. So one yes. side is glossy, one side is matte. So I do sacrifice some business cards from time to time. <laughs> But it's because of that fact, of the yeah, texture. Because okay. mm -hmm. you're going to have stuff that's a little more, you know. Uh, uh, different material. You know, yeah. Different, yeah, because you, you never know. I mean, the type of material, you know, the paint is pretty much the strongest, right, of all of them, would you say? That's the thing. Yeah. The, 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 the oil-based paint pens tend to work the best on all different types of material, but not always. Mm -hmm. Not always. So we were continuing with the prepping of the pens. Right. So... That's the interesting point. Oh, let me grab one of these. Okay. So, when you let it sit for a little while or when you first open it, I've seen a lot of people sit there and go, bam, 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 yes. bam, 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 bam. I'm like, what are you doing? Right. <laughs> well, I got to get the paint to flow. Okay, great. Right. <laughs> well, this is that little tip that we showed you. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like a paintbrush. What happens when you push too hard on paintbrush when you're painting stuff? Mm -hmm. It's everywhere. It flattens out exactly. and it doesn't do too well. Mm -hmm. Best recommendation I was told many, many years ago in prepping them is just put it, put it to the surface and hold it down briefly and then pull back. When they're brand new or you're first prepping the paint pens. It like, takes a longer for the paint to come down. Yeah, you've got to shake, shake, shake. Yes. Hold down and wait and wait. And then the paint will slowly start to flow into the brush and fill up the brush. Mm -hmm. Again. Until you get to the point where the paint is actually filling up the tip. Mm -hmm. That's the way to go. Now, do you spin it too around, get the paint all over the, the tip? 
Um, once, you, once you've dipped like that, once you've gone down, pressed down a couple you times? You know, that's a great question. I, I believe you could. I mean, I've rotated the pen a few times and whatnot. While you have, like, the little puddle of paint? So, yes, that's a good point. Yeah. When when you press, and some of them will actually, a bit more paint comes out than you want. Yeah. So, yes, I've basically rotated the tip and tried to make sure the paint was on all of it. Mm -hmm. But then also taken it and slid it across the side, you know, just to wipe off the excess. Nice. So very nice. I'll put that on the side of the thing and then use it. Yeah. Is it always perfect? No. No. Will you have some instances where you press and all of a sudden too much paint comes out? Oh, yes. <clears throat> We've had that happen a couple of times, right? Perhaps. Yeah. You live and you learn, right? Yeah. This is why we're giving out tips. This is, so does it happen to you guys? But so, is it going to happen? Sure. Oh, like, it will. It's going to happen. You know? No paint pen is perfect. I right. have not found the ones. Right. But when you're, you know, but when prepping it's on them, there and it's signed, oh man. Yeah, is you're prepping nice? them. See, look at that. A nice little drop of paint. Mm -hmm. So now I know that sucker's good to go. I'll clean it up a little bit on the sides. And that sucker, la 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 la, ready for signature. Bam. So, tip number five. What color do I use? You know, that's, that's the fun part, right? That's that, the part you love. <laughs> that's the uniqueness. That's of where it. you get crazy. I mean, well, so. <laughs> we tested a few colors over time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just a few just a couple so yes oh and even yeah we have little See, devil eyes on yeah, stuff like that so kept one of these in the car now do you let the item like guide you on what color to use for example like i see some vinyls you have over there certain fonts on the title of a movie poster like say reanimator for example when i think of reanimator my eyes go straight to this one and this one mm -hmm. right and you see the variations in shades. This one from Posca is a little lighter, a yeah. little more pukish green. This one's a little darker, a little more pea green. Mm -hmm. You know, those are wonderful uh, points. For, like, for Reagan, my exorcist figure that I got signed, I went with yours, this one, your deco. Mm -hmm. And she wrote in green. It came out perfectly. It popped so great. She wrote Sweet Dreams, Linda Blair. came out beautiful. Mm -hmm. Now, the Nightmare on Elm Street you have over there. So this is one that I was looking at, you know, adding a couple of different shades to. This one just got signed. Ooh. So it is the two, two disc special edition THX laser disc of Nightmare on Elm Street. You have a laser disc? I do. I have two laser disc players. Nice. With all the beautiful photos and everything oh, to go with it. Gorgeous. And just had Robert England did a Boom. nice little Freddy edition to nice. it. Nice. And the so blood did red? The green and the red, did the blood red in the green, playing with a couple different colors. Mm hmm. This one is a deco color, and it comes with a, a four pack with the standard basic colors, the blue, the black, the red, and it has a little more of a brighter red to it. The other ones that we have, different deco colors, oh, yeah. have more like a blood red color to it. So you're gonna have different shades on different pens. See, that's the other Different colors, part. especially with the different brands. Yeah. The silver based versus the black based that uh, they have at Michael's, these are gonna be a little different color shade than these. So it gets even more fun, because <laughs> then you get to choose different colors. But back to your question, that's a wonderful question. You look at the item, what stands out for you? Mm -hmm. What color do you enjoy? It's your item, you're collecting it, right. you're going to you're display, gonna display it. You're gonna display it, exactly. When you mm -hmm. look at it on the wall, you know, is it gonna stand out or is it gonna blend into the artwork or the design where you're like, man, I really can't see it. No matter which way I walk by or I look at it, I can't see the signature, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't stand out, so. So the only tip could give on that yeah. is looking at what, you know, the color of the item is like for that one, for example, what would, like, see? You got like, this is like a more of a darker red color. Mm -hmm. So I would use something that would stand out against the red. The black, black and dark red. Mm -hmm. mm. Nah, it'll blend in. Right. Doing something like a white or something that would really pop. Correct. You know? Mm -hmm. One thing we've tried and came out really well in the blue was that chrome paint pen for a Hellraiser. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can see with Peter Atkins and of course, Chris Young, this of course is another laser disc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but the so just made the point in the decision. I want, you know, go yeah. with Chrome because mm -hmm. it stands out against the darker blue background. Exactly. So yeah, it's gorgeous. Makes a difference. It. Yeah. And that, and that mullet, that's that one liquid Chrome, right? It has that that's the liquid shine where it's like um, a little asterisk. 
by yes. that. A little uh, little Ooh, tip. Be careful. The that. chrome lasts for a period of time when it's brand brand new. Yes. But I've seen it as time goes on. Look at it now. Yeah. It separates out, so it actually turns to like a milky gray kind of color. So if you're going liquid chrome, a yeah. it doesn't last too long as a paint pen. So you have to mm -hmm. get new chrome pens. B it takes a while to dry. Yes. For that's some one, reason. Yes. <laughs> with the additions that are in there, I've had to set that sucker aside and wait and wait and wait. That's not exactly the most conducive when you're at an event and, and you've got, you've a, got bunch a bunch of people in line. Yeah, a bunch of people in line. You have a bunch of items on you, and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do? What do I use? What do I use? Yeah, it's it's it gets you get nervous because you you know you want to move on move along, or you have another item you want to get signed, but mm -hmm. then you don't want the poster to roll on it. Mm -hmm. You don't want to, uh, you know, place another vinyl on top of that one. It gets had that happened before. Yes, we have multiple items being signed, like and it takes a little time to dry. Yes, and people are not paying attention because they want to move on to the next participant and moving things along, and it gets smudged, mushed, mm -hmm. <sighs> yes, destroyed, heartbreak and heartbreak. Yeah, heartbreak, heartbreak, yes. heartbreak. <laughs> So, so we're warning you guys. This is why we're helping you guys. This is why we're doing this. Yes. So you know, it doesn't happen to you. <laughs> so having the right preparation with the right paint pens, prepping them and mm -hmm. testing them beforehand while you're taking the drive in the car on the way to the event. Mm -hmm. You can do that when you're in the hotel room or before you go. But definitely try not to get to the point where you 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 know you got so much stuff going on. You just jump into the line. Right. You pay all that money. Right. And right. it's not ready to go. Right. Uh, have backups too. Mm -hmm. I've had. Double decos, double silvers, mm -hmm. backed up and ready, in case, in case one of them doesn't work, and they'll draw over it. Mm -hmm. I've, and I've had it on my on the the thing album that I had. I went uh, with Keith David, and I had him sign with the. Um, I had wanted the silver on it, and he grabs it, signs it. It doesn't come out good enough. I'm like, oh no, it doesn't come out good enough. Luckily, he was able to draw over it again. He was able mm -hmm. to signature over it again, but he used a sharpie, yeah. and I was afraid of that material that the sharpie was going to come out, but. It works. It came out great. He signed it perfectly, and it dries fast, and it works. So even if like you know you do mess up, you have a silver, have a backup. You know, and they'll have pens there if like one of them doesn't work. Like for whatever reason, I didn't have a purple one at the time when I, he signed my They Live album. Oh yeah, I really wanted the purple, match the sweater. Mm -hmm. You know, the geeky stuff like that we do, right? Get the color to match whatever you know the album. Yeah. I, everyone already had turquoise, but I really wanted him to stand out because he's one of the, you know the main actors in the movie. His purple sweater, his child always stands out. So I figured, you know what? Boom. Mm -hmm. Put it on there, and he had one. It worked perfectly. So yeah. and it was prep. Luckily, it was prep. I was. That's the thing. I was nervous. Like, oh, hopefully agreed. It's and some of them will be good enough, or they know because they've done so many of these events. Right. They themselves, like Harry yeah, Manfredini, yes. will test out a pen just to make sure before he good signs point. and commits I've to seen it. That too. Some of the others will do that. Some. They'll mm. look at yeah. Some yeah. They just go just pick it up. Whatever. They're like oh, get, you get so nervous, but you're right. They'll look at your item like oh, that's a really nice item. Like and they're like, what color would you like? Okay, like get that one, and they'll get it. They'll prep it out like let's make sure it's ready and it's perfect. Then you can mm -hmm. talk to them there while you have that sweet free time. You can engage with them, you know, mm -hmm. and have some, some good conversation and it's great. It just you know it's like such a, a, a great time. You spend all that money, you know, like at least have a good conversation. That's a question, you know, and mm -hmm. it's, you take advantage while you've you know, seen the video. Yeah, we love to talk. You know, and they love talking to us, and it and this just makes for great footage. So yeah, you know, a majority yeah. of them like to engage, and especially when you have different colors and you let them be a little creative. Mm -hmm. Had an instance at Days of the Dead. I had no clue and somebody enlightened me to the fact that if you talk to Alice Cooper and you ask him he will draw a picture of himself he does a caricature very cool so I did that on a Friday the 13th 6 poster came out brilliant nice. beautifully uh, so you 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 can be surprised at some of the uh, the people in there and what they signed. Some will put quotes and comments. Some will be like, "Yeah, hey, I'm not going to do right. that." Well, now they're charging for quotes, so well, that's yeah, yeah, yeah it's going in a one. different direction. Yeah, but yeah. So next one, uh, which pens for posters? That's an interesting one because there's like the different paper we were talking about earlier. Right. So you'll have certain theatrical posters that'll come out that are of the more you know, glossy type texture, mm -hmm. similar to that of a record jacket, similar to that of a laser disc. Mm -hmm. So looking at that, mm -hmm. sticking with the deco colors and the paint pens tends to be a little more successful on the glossies. Mm -hmm. But remember, again, with the fact when you're standing in line with everybody yes. and you're trying to move things along, being careful, especially if you have multiple items, mm -hmm. it's gonna take a minute to dry, it's gonna take a second. A lot of times it works well. We're in concert with each other yes. because one can come up and get something signed while right. the other one holds 
yes. and lets it dry. Mm -hmm. So that's good to have, you know, someone else to give you a hand yes. if you have more than one item. Because exactly, because if you have, you're, you're at the one gas, but you, have, you want two items from that one gas, and you have two posters or two albums, you're like, oh man. You know, the album's a little bit easier. You can, you know, him sign. Maybe there's a table next to you or your buddy can hold it, right? Because, you again, you don't want to put them on top of each other. You put them to the side. The posters, once you're done, they'll quickly roll up. You got to worry about it. So, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. When they sign, especially when you, the way, you know, a lot of us carry them around to make it more convenient. Right. Some actually take the blue painter's tape and tape them to a cardboard board. That's true. I've seen that before. And keep them flat. It's really pro, yeah. If your car's close by yes. and you don't mind carrying around all day <laughs> and you don't have children in tow that's or, right. you know, your family or whatever, you've got the time to invest in that. Yes. Keeping it flat yep. is definitely preferred by many collectors because then you don't get like bends and stuff and, True. and, and the poster doesn't get mutilated. Get it signed, let it dry, and then drop it off of your car. And then again, you know, it, it rolls and you get it signed and then it's paint and it rolls and it's all over it now. So, so for the posters themselves, there are different posters beyond those that are pressed, printed, theatrical types that are of a different paper stock. Mm -hmm. The one that I have for Halloween 2018 came out during San Diego Comic-Con. Yes. It was a Bilson Kevich. They were only, well, they say 150, 150, right. yes. 100 yes. offered to the public, 50 kept yes. back. For they had the, the small, like, not 11 by 11 17. 11 by 17. Yeah, those yeah. small ones. And then, but, but for limited, had, yeah. The big Gicle. Uh, Gicle, yeah. And a Gicle is a different type of paper stock. It is almost like a thick, I wouldn't say cardboard, but it's, it feels it's, like it's real thick. It, the though, texture. Yeah. Same is, with our Edmiston lobby card, the Dream, Dream yes, Free House and then yes. the, the Myers House. Yeah, that paper material. is more of a, a texture type paper, like mm -hmm. the Nightmare on Elm Street 3. When I had the opportunity, it was very brief yes. and I didn't want to screw it up. Mm -hmm. So, what have gone to, and this is why this is at the end of the line, right. is the Sharpie. But it's a go to because it'll dry fast and it'll so, in a pinch. It works great. I have a brand new one though. Yes. Uh, I'm telling you, brand new and tested. Because there have been some Sharpies I've grabbed off the shelf. Thinking they're new. Thinking they're new. And then try them out, and then they just, they're dry within seconds. Again, you only have that opportunity, right? That one, you know. Yeah. One shot, yes. you know. And so, yes. So if you're um, going to a con, you're pretty much going to buy new pens, essentially, right? And get them all prepped before you go. Depends. Because you already have a bunch of them. I'm not, you're different. But I'm saying someone's new going for the first time. If you're going for the first time, yeah. yes. Yeah. You want to spend a little investment of time to get the pens, unwrap them, prep them, fill them, you know, press down on the tips and have the paint in there mm -hmm. and test them out on a couple different things you may have. Maybe pets are not preferred or if you do it around your kitchen, your family may not <laughs> like that. So do it on stuff that's, you know, loose. Yes. Like, you know, old. go to the uh, Goodwill. And pick up some old records, some old vinyl, some old jackets mm -hmm. for 99 cents or a dollar right and whatnot. Your prep ones. Yeah. These prep ones came from the dollar store. Mm -hmm. Or not the dollar store. The um, oh, uh, Goodwill. Store, but, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And Works great. Look at that. been keeping it in the car, taking it with to different events. You can Greens, see which ones stand purples, out. purples, blues. Yeah. But the whites, you see, you see how the white struggles, whites. man. That's, that's the problem. That's the hard one. When it works, though, it works. You see, but when it's like, yeah, see, it's so sketchy to use yeah. a white. And some of the reds color. are darker than other colors. Yeah. Sometimes they'll turn pink after a while too. The red, you know. That is true. That is true. I've seen that happen too. But I love these. These are the ones, the decos, see? the blood reds. Yes. And also the sharpie. Interestingly enough, sharpie would be at the bottom, at the bottom, of the bottom, below. The Sharpies. Sharpies have oil-based paint pens. Mm -hmm. Fonzo's got some. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love you, brother. I, you know, test them out, yep. play with them. This is a red rouge oil-based. Okay? See. That's one of the few Sharpies that I'll actually use because of just the color of that red. But look, see how like light it is. It doesn't even look that red. That's the thing. See. You have to be careful on what you're putting them on. But it's, yeah. See. It pops because, especially of a lighter texture. But yeah, posters are more unique animals. And because I, I didn't want to screw it up, I whipped out the blue Sharpie. Mm -hmm. And I was very happy because it was more of a, you know, a thicker paper, that Edmiston poster. Right. And it did, it came out really it well. Up, yeah. I'm just, I'm. I had a, and I had it when I met I, uh, Jamie Lee, um, I had that one chance. She had an orange paint marker in her hand and she had a black Sharpie. And I was like, the whole time I'm debating, do I get it in orange or I get it in mm. Sharpie? And I'm like, I don't want to mess it up. I've already got so many signatures on it. Mm. I don't want to mess it up, right? What if she press too hard? What if it spills? What if it gets ruined? And I'm like, at least with the Sharpie, I know it's going to be black and it's going to kind of, you know, but 
I know it's going to work and it's going to drive fast because I got to roll it and put it on my tube anyways. Yeah. So I went with it and it popped. She rolled it pretty big. He almost crossed the chunk of everything. <laughs> but, you know, I got it and it went through. And again, on a pinch, Sharpies work. So we're like, we don't hate Sharpies. It's just, you know. Right. They, There's well, nothing they, against them. It's right, the fact of how much they cost. Okay. They don't cost very much. Right. But they don't last as long as we've seen the paint pens, oil-based paint pens last. Mm -hmm. So that's the main reason why that choice is being made. Yeah. Can you vary them between posters? Of course. If you're in a very rapid environment, the Sharpie ultimately yeah. is the best. Absolutely. Because it dries so quickly because it is ink. It's not paint. So you can use that and keep them. Absolutely. No problem. No. But in the fact, when you're really going in, look at the colors of these. Mm -hmm. People love these. I, I think, love this yeah. color. I mean, these have glitter. This is a glitter one. As I just saw a new... Mm -hmm. So this one had uh, on the scream laser disc. Yeah, everybody signed that, and on the black background it came out so nice, dude. And it's the same laser discs. Why laser disc and vinyl? Mm -hmm. You know. Well, that's a great question. Uh, Daniel Butler asks, which pens for vinyl? Yeah. So they're the same size. They're twelve by twelves. I'm a hardcore vinyl collector, if you guys don't know. Do you guys know that? You like vinyl? I like records. Yeah, a little too. bit. A little bit. <laughs> Same size. Wee! And the fact you have more real estate than a DVD, yes. Blu-ray, yes. VHS. That's where the poster's nice, to too, have that real estate. people to sign mm -hmm. stuff on there. So that was part of the reason why doing the laser discs as well as the vinyl. It's giving you more of a 12 by 12 nice art piece mm -hmm. to have people on it. And I like 8 by 10s too, if like it's an actor, like mm -hmm. if there's not that much product of certain movie, yeah. but there's a cool shot of them in that movie, 8 by 10s are perfect. It's about them. Yeah. Russell, our buddy Russell loves collecting 8 by 10s. Absolutely. That's his biggest collection. Yeah. Love you, brother. You frame up up on the wall, you have mm -hmm. all those cool like, and then you're like, oh yeah, that's the guy from that movie. You know, someone that's not such a movie buff, you know, but they see that picture of that person in that movie, like, oh yeah, I, I know that movie. Oh, you met that person, right? Mm -hmm. It's cool. Other than that, you don't, you don't ever, you know, you don't know. So. Now, which ones? Uh, we got another question. Which pens for Funkos? That's a good point. So Funkos are interesting in the fact that they're cardboard, but they also have this plastic. So we got David Kirshner and Sharpie right up there. See, that came out really good. See, but that was a top. quick one. That was a quick yeah. one. Yeah. So yeah. if you're displaying it, you can't see his name on top, unfortunately. That's. But the... Don Mancini and. Was that Peter? What is that? <laughs> that's the hard part with some of these signatures. You can't make out what they're saying. Who it is? Uh, so that's a whole other story there. But but that's paint pen right there. If you look, you see how nice that came out on the window. Mm -hmm. right, Chucky, you can still see Chucky, and you see the name, and it, and it comes out so good. Yeah, most and I would say most, a majority of people have it on this plastic piece right there. Like here, so another figure here, you know, if you don't want it on the plastic, you know, here's a paint pen right here by Joyner. That's on the cardboard on the box. And then yeah. here's another, here's a Sharpie right here by Joe Owls, who even drew a little shark. Yeah. So there's your, there's two right there, a difference with a uh, paint pen and a uh, Sharpie. Your preference, which one do you like best? You know, which one stands out the most? You can go from there. We a lot of times go with a theme, like Chucky's wearing the blue, so he'll go with the blue. Correct. Linda Blair, green. The Jaws font was red, there's blood splattered, let's go with the red, red. paint pen. But sometimes, you know, again, the name gets uneligible, you're like, oh, what was that? You know? Yeah. The hardest part and the, the unknown variable at this time is the longevity of these Funkos in this plastic. Yes. And this you've had for quite a number of years. Mm -hmm. And amazingly, this has held up over the test of time. Because I have some old action figures that this gets really yellow. Yes. The older the material, sun. especially in the 90s or 2000s. Yeah, some the old McFarlane the movie toys. Maniacs. <laughs> yes. You know, get that really yellow fun. Because so that's... it was that cheap plastic or exactly. whatever. Exactly. So, and I've seen fake people sign their figures, right? The actual figures, not inside yep. the box. So, But the box is so beautifully displayed. You can put them on there and, it, and they just, you know, they, they show off, you know. The cool thing about the Funkos, at least, is the fact that they have those plastic protectors. Yes. And they even have solid state protectors for these Funkos. Yeah. So, so I'm done. Put it in this little case. Keep one of those with you once it's signed. It's yeah. not a bad idea to slide it in there and protect your investment, protect your yeah. uh, signature. Yes. All that hard-earned you know, money. You know, put that you sucker in there. in there. You're good to go. Will they last for the longest of time being signed on the front or being signed where you can see the character? Right. 
That's a great question. But with Funkos, it's... It's paint it's pen. Yeah, like them. it's like paint them. pens. We yeah. go with the paint pens on there. And it's it seems to adhere. It seems to pop. Mm -hmm. It seems to work well. Bonnie Aaron's, you had your you had a yellow one deck off. Oh, it was this sucker! One. It came out so good. She and she didn't press hard on it, and it just came out so well. And interestingly, yeah. this Maltal fell in love with because it's a very bright yellow. Mm -hmm. However, it did not last the test of time. <laughs> Brought it back because the new Friday the Thirteenth is like a yellowish type of pressing, mm -hmm. and we were trying to use this with Harry, and it just was not firing. It did not survive. Uh, Got another question here by Tony Larry. Tony Larry, sorry, pronounced that wrong. Uh, medium or fine point paint markers. Now that's the biggest. Besides tip number <laughs> one. Of having things organized and having your colors ready to go and storing them vertically and keeping them with you is buying the right one. Some of these are really hard to read. Yeah. Like you can look at the tiny little that corner. That one says 3M, right? So 3M all bullet the shape. Three, yeah, bullet shape. I got so, a 5M. See, so that's going to be even bigger. But for vinyl, yeah, see how much that? See, yeah, exactly. See that? So the reason going in difference, there's yes. a fine point, there's a bullet shaped. Mm -hmm. And then there's this one, a little smaller, I think. This one's a three, three ml. Yeah, this is the three. Yeah, and Even you see three. what happens oh, when yeah. you beat on them over time, yeah. and they, you know they squish down. Yeah. So, when you see the deco colors, you read the side of it, and it shows you a picture of the bullet. See, oil-based paint, yep. and it's got a big old bullet. So for your for the Funko, would you go with that one? For the Funko? Yes. You could go between a 0 0.3 and a 0 0.5 okay. because of the fineness of it. But these little, the, it's Those a smaller perfect. item, right. so it's usually more preferred for a smaller pen. This is the light blue, and it says on the deco color, let's see if I can put that in there, fine line. Yeah, this one is... These are the fine lines, okay? I've made the mistake. I was going too quickly because most of the stores, these are still sealed. They're still wrapped up in their plastic. Yeah. So you wild. can't open up a test them. Deco, you can't make the mistake in finding the bullet points. The the ones that made the mistakes on are the Poscas. Yeah. Because I'll go and I'll pick one up and it'll be too fine of a point. Mm -hmm. It'll be like, you know, tiny, tiny. No, where is it? Where is that's it? Here it one. is. This is the one. Oh yeah, it's got the, and that's got the white cleat. Um, this is a one millimeter, even yeah. though it said bullet shaped. Yeah. See, that is thin. Tiny, tiny. I mean, that's for really fine detail and fine work. Right. Uh, so, what would you get signed with that? Um, mistakenly, I uh, had it available for a Friday the 13th, mm -hmm. part six. Jason Lives with a light blue looked so awesome with yeah. that color and the design. Luckily, had a three. <laughs> hey, you had a backup. Had the backup. Pulled nice. the 3M Posca out. Because even though it says fine and it looks like it's, uh, you know, ready to go. Yeah. One, three. Difference. Okay, threes. Yeah. You got the five more. Yeah, the five, yeah. That, one's, yeah. that one's a lot bigger for sure. Let's see. So the bullet points are preferred for when going into, of course, the albums. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Because there is a little bit more real estate, a little bit more room. Right. But having the bullet points, the larger ones. For the little 11 by 17, the, yes. the smaller print, right? The newer, the better. Yeah. The newer, 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 the better. Because the bullets over time, as they've been used, pushed down, it's going to be a thicker line. It's going to be a lot more. Some people sign their signatures so distinctly. You can tell, like Don Mancini. Exactly. I can't miss that. Right, exactly. So Rick you, Baker writes in, in, in print like that as well. So that cursive, you might so. have a smaller right. deco color fine line. Look on the side, because you want to make sure those tend to be the most optimal for people with really clear signatures or smaller items. Yeah, that's a great point. The bigger, get, yeah. yeah, the bigger, thicker deco colors for bigger items. Yeah, big posters, big laser disc records, anything larger than maybe this size that they can actually, you know, have some fun with. Yep. But ultimately, you tops small of the tops, by seventeen. Yeah. Tops of the tops are the fine line deco colors. And for the Funkos and for figures too, mm -hmm. right? For figures as well. Look at that. I mean, yeah. yeah. Those have seemed to be, and they still keep going and going. This deco color is probably four years old. Yeah. Four years old. Nice. And I'll still grab it, pull it out. Just to make sure. Good to go. And it's still beautiful. Look at that. 
Good to go. Nice. But it has been prepped beforehand. I did push down a little bit to get mm -hmm. the ink flowing just to get it prepped and ready. Mm -hmm. But those are tried over time. Deco's, like I say, a little more prominent. Posca's, a little more confusing. Yes. Maltau's, real quick, acrylic. They don't mention, except tiny down there at the bottom, two millimeter. Mm -hmm. So one millimeter, two millimeter, three millimeter seem to be the average. Okay. Yeah. That tip seems to work well and for a mall towel. And it is more, ex two millimeter. more expensive than higher tip. These are average 6 to $10. Okay. And the, sadly enough, it's there. Yeah, see, balls those there. Tough, yeah. They just seemingly, mm -hmm. like this one, I, I mean, this this freaking orchid color. Yeah. I've used that a couple times on some things. The, the women have yeah. loved that. Right. Men have loved that because it pops and it's mm -hmm. color. It's just not. There's just the mall yeah. towel. I was just so sad with these. That's interesting. You know, these over COVID did not last. Okay. When they're brand, brand new, that yellow Great. is amazing. Yeah. So keep that in mind. Yeah. Medium, fine point. Mm -hmm. You got to look at the detail before you buy it and take it home. Yeah, because I think at Michael's, you can see them on there too. They'll have the numbers on there, but yeah. Um, they don't, yeah, they don't seem to sell Poscas at Michael's. They, yeah, you, I had to get these on Amazon. Yeah. Um, yeah, these are Michael's, Michael's. Uh, Pascal's on Amazon. So mm -hmm. Maltel as well. Maltel, I've only seen or these Blix. pretty much online or at Blix Art Supply. Okay. Uh, so, yes. So the last um, one I think too we said. Interesting point yeah. with these paint pens. Mm -hmm. You spend the time. You follow the tips. You keep them together. You have your cases. You prep them. Mm -hmm. You're in line. You're going up. You know it's going to be a very quick, rapid, boom, boom, fire kind of deal. You want it to be done right. We've had to ask. Would you sign this for me? What happens? What happens? <laughs> and they start to maybe, is this ready? Right. Some are uncertain. Yes. And a lot of them will start to get into the point of pressing. Yes. Bashara. So there was a wonderful story with Bashara. I have to show you the picture. It was on one of the vinyls for Insidious. Mm -hmm. And it was a white paint pen. And white. again, white. it was a challenge. <laughs> but he took it and he pressed it down. And all of a sudden the ink, ink really started to flow. And he goes, oh, I love this. And, brrr, and turned it into an art project. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's sure. cool. Yes. That's Joe Bichara. Have right. fun with it, man. Absolutely. Have a, have a field day. But when there was another individual that was at Dark Delicacies, and I won't mention any names, but I had a sealed copy of the soundtrack for the movie she was in. And it was all prepped and ready to go. Uh, took off the, uh, the, the shrink wrap and had it there, pristine condition. Took it and when was going to sign, pressed so hard mm -hmm. that the red ink just and went all across the top. So when That's we're asking the, people, yes. what do you ask them? Could, here you go. Could you not press hard? Is that what you ask? How you you, you say you it nicely? Say, <laughs> it's already you say it's already prepped. You mm -hmm. know, it's ready to go. Don't don't need to press hard. Don't need to press. Yeah. Don't need to press hard. Gentle. It's prepped and ready. You would think it's you would know they've signed a lot of stuff. You, you feel like you shouldn't have to ask. But again, it's that special item of yours, right? You're getting it signed. Or you already have a bunch of other signatures on it. You can't afford an accident, have you know that spill and go all, all over everyone else's names or anything else. So you want to say, oh, yeah, it's ready to go right here. You just gently sign it, you know, just you, courteous, you know. You prep the pens, prep right. your signer. Yeah, exactly. Just ask them, please. Prep the pens, prep yeah. the signer. I like Thank that. you so much for your time. Appreciate you being here. Have this item, it's precious to me, or it's something in my collection. If you would, could you, please, the pen is ready to go. Please don't press, or please don't press too hard. Right. It's ready for you. Like uh, this just happened at CreepyCon, I believe, where had the laser disc Friday the 13th, part five. Mm -hmm. And as the individual had been probably signing all day, sure. and they were tired, sure. and you gotta respect their time. And I forgot to mention that fact. You forgot? I was tired. It was the end of the day. We were trying to catch them before they were going to leave that's and run true. out the was, door. That's true. It was towards the end of the day. And the so. individual took this beautiful blue deco yep. that was all prepped and ready to go and pushed too hard. So, yeah. And what happens? Either you get a big puddle or it starts to leak down the whole album. Yep. Only one time did that work on your favorite. That's true. That's Only one true. time at Days of Dead in Las Vegas for Roger L. Jackson because for whatever reason, the miracle... 
the red ink went down the blade of Ghostface's <laughs> knife. <laughs> so when oh, we wow. held that up, we took the picture, and he's like, oh, it's late. And then and you're look, like, oh, it's kind of like, okay, you're right. It does look good. It looks normally it looks cool. It would have drove you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, of all this time invested in yes. energy, you guys have seen our events. Mm -hmm. You've seen, well, not our events. You've seen us go to events. You've seen us with these paint pens. You've seen us talk to the celebrities. Everybody, majority, is, yeah. is gracious with their time and Absolutely. everything like that. It makes their life easier. It makes your life easier. Yes. Choosing the right pen mm -hmm. for the right item and having it prepped and ready to go for the right time. Absolutely. So hopefully this uh, video was very helpful. I know it's been a long time coming. You guys have been asking for it. I hope that was very helpful. If you guys have any other questions, please leave them in the comments. We'll go ahead and uh, answer any more. But hopefully that was pretty, I mean, we went through a lot of the questions that we everyone yeah. kept asking. And uh, that's pretty much, you know, what we what we do, what we use is exactly our case. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the items, we, we brought some items that we've gotten signed in the past. So... I mean, you've seen and you've seen our videos, so you've seen other items get of ours get signed. So yes. you see how meticulous we are, and how careful we are, and how gracious we are to the, the, the guests for their time and and their opportunity for us meeting them. So we're super excited. They're super excited to sign our stuff and meet uh, meet the fans. So remember, it's your item. You know, uh, you know, prep, 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 prep yourself. Prep what you you know why you want to get signed with what color. Um, and have fun with it. That's the one part. It's your item. You're going to have it hanging mm -hmm. in your house, in your room, or whatever. It's going to be displayed. You're going to see it all the time. It's going to make you happy. You're going to see mm -hmm. it. Go, I remember that event. I remember that event. I'm glad I went with that color, right? Yeah. I mean, a mistake's going to happen? Of course. It always does, right? It's happened to us many times. My ghost face mask, right? It, uh, yes. The ink, for whatever reason, I had it put away. And when the next one morning, it came up and it smeared for some reason, right? But can you erase it? Can you clear it? That's right. That, Sometimes you two can, last right? bonus pieces for you. Yeah. Can you remove signatures? Yes. Depends on the material. Mm -hmm. The more paper texture it is, yeah. posters otherwise, the more you're screwed. Mm -hmm. The more it is slick yes. or glossy, the better for perhaps a chance or an opportunity. We talked with well, Mark, Shadowbox Mark, mm -hmm. and had asked him for some of his advice because a lot of his items are glass. Yes. So what works on the glass or what can you do to correct certain things? Mm -hmm. uh, he, interestingly enough, came up with uh, basically these wet ones. Okay. Yeah. They have a little bit of alcohol base to them. Yeah. So some of the alcohol could help with that. Interestingly, hand sanitizer. <laughs> yeah. I saw Tommy Lee Wallace use it, remove it from his hands at Halloween yeah. 40th. So, yeah. So when you think about that, mm -hmm. on top of the bonus tip, can you remove the items perhaps or remove the ink perhaps? But keeping with you like a wet one or something like that is a not one? a bad idea. Brendan? You know, Brendan in your pocket? What? Or wet naps or wet wipes. So wet about wipes. Well, there you go. <laughs> or the hand sanitizer spray and wipes yeah. because it could help perhaps mm -hmm. if, it's, if it's just in the midst of drying or right. it's just getting yes. started and it's leaking down or whatnot. If you very carefully, you know, wipe it or capture it. Creepy by wipe. Econ. Did, had, I had to use that mm -hmm. for the mask. I had yeah. to keep signing it again. Gracious enough to sign it again, so it can be done. He cleaned it off. It's just clean. Yeah. It worked. So just you know, just remember, like it's not complete loss unless it's on paper. Then it's kind of rough. It's yeah. kind of tough. But so water that. won't work, but right. something with a little bit of a base to it. Yes. So when I had the uh, Nintendo, oh, that's right, and had it signed with a silver deco color, mm -hmm. which came out freaking gorgeous with Tom Savini, Harry Manfredini, yes, and then Kane Hodder, and unfortunately the paint, yes. uh, the deco stuttered. Yes. And it, he pressed, and it stuttered, and it, but we figured it out. He signed elsewhere. I was able to take that back because it was that was automotive paint. Yeah, that was three three coats and a clear coat. Absolutely. And the, a little bit of uh, isopropyl alcohol and a little bit of the hand sanitizer was able to remove the other defunct signature. And Kane had it on another location. Nice. But be real careful. Yes. That's that's the biggest disclaimer of this mm -hmm. is when you're getting the signatures. If it's right in the moment of time or after the fact, just be careful. Because that's the biggest thing. Right. You don't want to have that regret of screwing it up. Right. If or you're not ready, accidentally yeah. scraping exactly. it off or erasing it or mm -hmm. you know, just having it messed up on you. If you're not ready, get the person in behind you, let them go mm -hmm. ahead of you. Yeah. You get ready like some more until you're, you're completely ready. Because you get this is your items, you know, you spend a lot of money on it. Mm -hmm. You want to get it signed, you're spending more money on getting it signed. So yeah. just be very careful. So and the last bonus bonus, like I was saying a moment ago, yeah. keeping some type of wet naps or wet ones or a little something in your pocket. Right. Is not a bad idea, or in your backpack or your mm -hmm. case or whatever, mm -hmm. because sometimes the paint goes and goes and goes. Yes, see, and you know you're touching it and it's whatnot. All over your hands. 
It'll get on your fingers. And that's, when you grab your own item, now you've got your paint on the item. So that's the biggest thing that they do not like is if you hand them a paint pen and it's it's yeah, it gets it's on their the fingers. Oh, or yeah. gets, oh, that's the worst. Oh yeah. We've had that happen, unfortunately, mm -hmm. with some of these that were defunct. That, that happens. You know, we were able to reach them in the pocket and, you know, here's something to wipe off your fingers for the next individual coming right. or yourself before you go to the next signer. Mm -hmm. So yeah. keep those tips in mind. Absolutely. Yes, like I said, if you guys found this very helpful, please hit that like button. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. You know, keep notified for whenever we upload a video, hit that notification bell. What should they do with that bell? You want to tickle that little bell. Tickle that little bell. So whenever we upload a video, you guys will be first to get notified. And as always, Scott, can't rain all the time. <laughs>